real cases before a real judge. Plaintiff Vanessa Shackelford is dating the defendant's cousin, and she claims the defendant is a violent drunk. Vanessa is suing because she says the defendant showed up to a party at her house uninvited and got into a fight with one of her guests. And while attempting to punch her friend, the defendant fell through her window. Defendant Medrick Spencer admits that he fell through Vanessa's window while trying to swing at her friend. But Medrick only swung at him because he thought he was pulling a knife out. He's countersuing for medical bills. Start with you. <laughs> well, Your Honor, I'm dating the defendant's cousin, and he and I decided to have a get together to celebrate his father's birthday. His father died when he was really young. Uh, when we were discussing who would be invited to the party, um, the defendant's name came up. Immediately, I was like, no, he can't come because he has a history of uh, fighting and getting drunk and causing problems. It was an incident at my house a few months ago where the police had to be called, where he ended up headbutting his sister. So How did that start? Well, my roommates were there, but um, from what I was told, he got into it with his sister. She hit him and he headbutted her. You know, he did would that not. that happen, sir? With no, your sir. sister? You didn't that get did it? The, the argument happened, mm -hmm. but the headbutting didn't. That, oh, the police come? Yeah, the police take home. Over a verbal argument? Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> what city do you live in? We in Chicago, yeah. In Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Call the police and say, we're having a verbal argument. And they come, they say, we'll be right there. <laughs> gotcha, you starting off wrong. Go ahead. <laughs> well, you know, I we decided, you know, that he wouldn't be invited. So he found out about the party anyway. And he came to the party, you know, he was drinking and um, he ended up getting into an altercation with one of the invited guests. Ended up being just a big altercation in the kitchen verbally. So the person got fed up with what he was saying and said, you know what, let's take this outside. So he, he goes out the door, Your Honor. And the defendant, he decides that he's going to take a swing. So I drew you a diagram. The person was already out the door. He went into my living room. Oh, you want to you want to fight? You want to you want to fight? And he swung. But no one was there. No one was there at all. I guess that was the alcohol telling him the person was there. So he swung. <laughs> <laughs> he swung right here. And then he tripped, fell, ran through my window right here and broke <laughs> my picture front window. I have pictures. He broke my picture it. front window. Let me see your pictures. <laughs> mm -hmm. Glass everywhere, Your Honor. It was glass all in my house, glass all in my yard, in my garden. Mm. Then he came back to my house, flinging blood everywhere, trying to get me to listen and explain. And it was just a mess, Your Honor. What city do you live in? We in Chicago, yeah. In Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Call the police and say, we're having a verbal argument. And they come, they say, we'll be right there. <laughs> Defendant Medrick Spencer is accused of showing up to the plaintiff's party drunk and uninvited and falling through one of her windows while trying to punch one of her party guests. Did you ever speak with him about making the repairs? Absolutely. Um, he called me the next day and he let me know that uh, he would be uh, repairing the windows. And mm. so I waited and he never got back in contact with me. Mm -hmm. But then my mother called him and he agreed to fix the windows okay. and told her that he was going to get someone. He to hasn't fix the been windows. back over since. No, no, uh, sir. So why are you suing for the exterminator? It worked. As you can see in the pictures, um, my window, my house is wide open. It's summer. Mm -hmm. It's hot. It's a lot of bugs. I have ants. Oh, you talking about house. bugs? I yes, thought sir. your exterminator was for him. <laughs> oh. I wish it was that easy. <laughs> Let me have uh, your window uh, estimates, sir. What do you want to tell me? Um, Basically, documentation beats conversation mm -hmm. and actions speak louder than words. Mm -hmm. And all her documentation is bogus. You know, I, I was at her house on the 17th. This is all bogus, the pictures? No, not. not well, not then, that. it's not all bogus. I Go mean, ahead. On the 17th, you know, she was having a, a memorial for my cousin's uh, father's birthday. Mm -hmm. And I was invited. My sister and my sister's girlfriend are, the, are her roommates. They came and got me and my, one of my older friends. We came over. It was a party atmosphere. She drinks dark liquor. I said, well, you know, I really don't drink that. She's like, well, you know, we're going to drink this up. I'll make some drinks. We'll go to the liquor store afterwards. I, I drank yeah. a couple of drinks and that was it. OK. And then we went to the liquor store. Me, her and my cousin, her, okay. her boyfriend. Then we went to the store. And then we came back from the store. You know, I found out one of my friends, the friend I came with, uh -huh. he was passed out on her uh, 
on her bathroom mm-hmm. floor. No, so she was, he was passed out. And he had made a mess in the kitchen. Okay. Your friend. Okay. Yeah, my friend. All right. You and your friend are the only one so far that can't hold the liquor. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, so I helped him clean up everything. Mm-hmm. And one of my cousin's friends, the one that she invited, mm-hmm. that they invited, mm-hmm. came in and started, you know, saying gay slurs to me, mm-hmm. to me and my friend. You know, I was, I was holding his belt loop, helping him clean up. Mm-hmm. So I told him to get out the kitchen. I'm like, man, you need to get by to get off that. She has a sliding door. I push him out the door. I tell him, you need to get out here and I close the door. He came back in and he said, you know, I should check you in your friend's pockets. You know, this Chicago, that, that's the term saying, you know, you're going to rob me. Mm-hmm. So at that particular time, that's when I confronted him, you know, pushed him in the face, you know, mm-hmm. pushed him out the kitchen, whatever. My sister, one of the only people that I have a statement from my sister. I have a statement from her, too. Okay. What did she say happened? Throughout the night, Medrick Spencer and a young man had called each other names and Basically, you know, just summing up, we it's showing, you know, we had like an argument. A that's what she said. OK, so basically what happened when I when, we, when my sister said, you know, you need to take this outside. <clears throat> the gentleman was walking behind me and we were walking outside. He put his hand in his pocket. So I don't know if he had a gun, knife or anything. So when he was walking up to me, that's when I took a swing at him and I slipped and hit, you know, hit the glass. Honor with my right hand. Mm-hmm. And then when I tried to get up, I hit, I hit the, you know, like one of these small little side mirrors with, mm-hmm. with my elbow, mm-hmm. you know, and then I, I actually found out later on that he did have a knife on him. So when I came back in. He never pulled it out while you he, were He pulled it out, him. he pulled it out when we was outside of the house. Mm-hmm. Why don't you think you should be responsible for the damage you did to the woman? Honestly, Your Honor, you know, the estimate that I had given her, you know, mm-hmm. I actually, told her like look Vanessa I, I man up to it I'll pay for the one I have no problem with that I said this to her actually holding a bucket while she was throwing up in her room you know I'm sorry about what happened he tried to rob my friend that, that's basically how I, I I wasn't running from anything this had to be a sight oh, to see yeah. <laughs> two people oh my. Yeah. the homeowner throwing up in one room yeah. another friend throwing up in the other room Two of them drunk and can't hold the look out there fighting. That's not how it happened. Nobody got that on tape. That's a sitcom. That'd be funny. <laughs> Go ahead. So, you know, the next the next day I called her again when she was sober. I said, you know, Vanessa, you know, I do rehab and what she already knows I've done. You need rehab. to be in rehab, you say. He <laughs> do. Rehab. Rehab, Your Honor. Oh, OK. Rehab yeah, right. <laughs> so I told you, know, I, I, you know, I, I, I called a friend of mine and, you know, they basically gave me an estimate for one hundred twenty five bucks. You know, We're not just talking me, about glass. That, for them that, to repair it. For, no, for just for them to repair the glass. That's what I broke. Mm-hmm. I didn't throw nobody How through. How about installing it? Did they intend to install I it? I can install it. I oh. told her that. Like, me, I, I know and what mean. did she say? She said she wants the entire thing replaced. Mm-hmm. When her mama called me, I said the same thing. I'm like, look, I, got, I can get the glass. I just got to go get the frames. The house is 67 years old. Mm-hmm. So only thing you got to do is caulk it, and that's it. Keep Ain't nothing else to it. I, this is the estimate right here. He's a liar, see? sir. He never gave me that estimate. And he never did show up after mm-hmm. he agreed to come and fix the window. And furthermore, he has no kind of uh, experience. What do you, uh, how hey, do you? Can, can I respond to that? You've hey, never I, fixed can I, can anything. I that? And why would I trust can a man who broke sure. it to she fix said, it? She said, I don't have any experience that. When she got You're not even a contractor. Okay, okay, you don't even I, have a okay, job, okay, Medrick. So, why would I trust okay, you to fix I, my stuff? Finish? You're not fixing nothing in my house. Can I, can I respond to that? You want yeah, to a reputable sure. company, and you're not reputable. You got one mouth, two ears. Yeah, you and you're going to fix you that, my please? stuff. Oh, I ain't got to worry about that. That's enough. It's hot. It's a lot of bugs. I have ants all over You're talking about bugs. I thought your exterminator was for him. I wish it was that easy. Defendant Medrick Spencer is accused of showing up to the plaintiff's party drunk and uninvited and falling through one of her windows while trying to punch one of her party guests. How many other windows? It was two windows that yeah, he broke. And one was the big, uh, the, the big, big picture one. window. Yeah, the picture Single window. Pain. And he was talking about he can do it for $125. I like to see that. Yeah. She doesn't have an obligation to take your work anyway, no, no, sir. It wasn't a time. If I were her, I wouldn't either. I'd think you'd come over there drunk and bust the other one. <laughs> show up that day as oh, the yeah. drunk fighter or the repair man. Right. Exactly. That's true. That is so true. Exactly. And the emotional distress, how does he owe for that? Well, I've been very financially overwhelmed with the cost of repairing. I'm a single mother. I'm a grad student. I'm not home a lot to monitor if somebody decides to walk in my house. I don't live in the best neighborhood, so I'm open to all of these different elements that's out there. Ma'am, you can stop right there. If you if you fool enough to leave your big picture window 
open all the way when it was broken for a number of weeks. No, I put plastic up, but that's oh, all well I can afford then. to do, Your Honor. Oh, plastic is yeah, all I put you plastic can put up? up but so it was... It was you said covered, over to the but, elements. But it is. It rains inside yeah, of the, the window, and okay. then I have to clean yeah. it up. Show me the damage that was happening with the elements. I have the records right here with okay, the Okay, Your Honor. Um, Let's see. The this weather. is starting to get away. When, it, when this incident happened, that Thursday, I told her I can have these guys come out and Talk fix it. Talk is so cheap. She didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't want it done. Cheap. You didn't no, want you it done. You weren't here trying up, to make it seem like. You didn't show up. You, you, you have you all this empty up. space. My mother even called going. you and you, Man, you had delivered, you had delivered risk of somebody coming in there like that. They would be crazy right. to come in because of the shard of glass that's hanging down. No, but they, if they want to come in, they could. They're crazy, yeah. a lot of, most criminals are crazy. You have a security system and your house is locked. Like what you Counterclaim $1,518 is for what? How does she owe you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is what I want to hear. She, she invited mm -hmm. that riffraff there. That's she did. Mm -hmm. You know, if it was a case that I fell through her floor, she'd be responsible for me if okay. I fell through the floor. So because you got into a fight with it someone that she invited. I was defending myself in, the, in her mm -hmm. house. This okay. guy, he had, we, ended up, we, we found out he had a knife in his pocket. Mm -hmm. Remember you, you know, went so, outside with him, right? You went I out said, to fight, huh? And now you want her to pay the damage for you going outside to fight somebody well, they was while drunk. And he was. I wasn't drunk. Because you couldn't hold your liquor. Your Honor. Your Honor, I wasn't drunk. $2,763 is your judgment based on the estimates you have provided and the emotional distress you endured while having only plastic on your window. Yes, sir. And exposed to the elements, as you say, and exposed to criminals, as amen. you also say. So amen. I grant you your judgment. The Yours truth. is dismissed, you sir. Amen. You are totally unreasonable in your thought pattern. You must be drunk today to think you're going to get something. Judgment for the plaintiff. Thank you. No, I hope you get the window fixed. Oh, I am. Don't get fixed. I already put the deposit down, so don't oh, even worry about it. Oh, the money you didn't have, huh? All right. I got a job. Do you? Yeah, I got a job. I but teach. I do my work. I do my yeah, job. Yeah, I can't believe you would teach yourself like that. And then you come to my house and, and then destroy career? my house like that. Destroy your house. Give me the runaround. Give me. Eight, try to give me eighty dollars. Eighty bucks. Yeah. Try to give me eighty dollars. Get out of here. You knock it off. Knock it off. Knock it off. You can knock that off out in the hundreds. That's all you need to do. You need to cool out. See how you are? You threatening? Ain't nobody threatening nothing. That, that's that ghetto mess. I can't believe you I'm educated. I'm definitely not ghetto. I have an yeah. education. I have a master's wow, degree. Wow, a master's? What do you have? A You're at home on the couch getting drunk. You For don't real? drink by the drink. You drink by the case, For by the real? pint, by the fifth. No, no, so that's that's what... That would be you. That's what so, you and your boyfriend do. That's why I was no, holding no, no, that no. garbage can. And every time you gave you the money, you, you keep the money. It ain't drink. nothing. You, you keep the money. Y'all didn't want me to fix it. Or anything for like that, you keep the bread. Heck, you know, they yeah, want you to you, fix it for eighty dollars. You, you got your little two G's. You go ahead and you be cool. Yeah, I'm a fix and it's gonna yeah. be beautiful, and you'll I'm never see it because you'll whatever. never be invited. My cousin that you messing with gonna yeah. see it. Long, 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 long cousin gonna call me. Yeah. Let me know what's going on. Okay, whatever. <laughs>